Greetings, Southminster. It's good to be with you. I hope you're all doing well and are safe and sound. I want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving from both my family and from Southminster. We hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You know, I may seem difficult or a struggle to find something to be thankful this year. What with COVID-19, a contentious election, the racial injustice. You know, some of you have lost loved ones this year. Others of you have dealt with some significant health concerns. Um, and so, I, you know, it's understandable if it's a struggle to find something to be thankful for. And yet, I do want to encourage you to stop and reflect and see where God really has blessed you this year. See where uh, you can find those things to really give thanks for. And if you need some help, the one thing I can share with you that I know we can be thankful for this year is God's presence in our lives. Despite everything that's happened, God has been right here alongside of us, guiding us and nurturing us and kind of prodding us along through this dark valley. Uh, thinking about Psalm 23. God truly is our shepherd and we can be thankful for that. Well, a couple things I wanted to let you know about. Number one is that this Sunday live streaming returns and we are excited. Lindsay is with us and we are looking forward to delivering a meaningful and wonderful live streaming experience. So I want to invite you to go to spcah.org, our website, click on the link and to join us Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and for our live stream and we can all worship together. Uh, second thing I want to let you know about is that this Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent, believe it or not. And so if and when you tune in on Sunday, you will notice that our sanctuary is all decorated for Christmas and for Advent, which I think is just such a beautiful thing. Our sanctuary is, is so beautiful when it's decorated at, at Christmas time. And because it's the first Sunday of Advent, we begin that journey of expectation and waiting uh, for the birth of Christ knowing that Christ, of course, has already been born and that, that, and that the birth of Christ brought our world hope. As John 1 says, Jesus is the light of the world. He, his, light shone, his light shined in the darkness. And right now we are certainly walking through a dark period. And so this season, I think, of Advent is especially meaningful as we focus on the hope that Christ gives us and the light that he shines in the world. I also think it's a good reminder that as the church, you know, our job is to continue to shine Jesus' light in the world. And so that, I think Advent is another, is also a good reminder of that too. So as we prepare for Thanksgiving and as we begin our journey into Advent, I just again want to encourage you to stop and consider where God is at in your lives, what blessings God has given you, and what you can truly be thankful for this year and what has been a very difficult year. Once again, Southminster, happy Thanksgiving to you and to your family. Have a great week, and we look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday, and we look forward to seeing you whenever we see you and know that we love you, we miss you, and that the love of God the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the community of the Holy Spirit is with you today and every day. I'll see you next time.